Are you stocking your prepper pantry with canned meats for survival? If so, are you considering canned fish? Should you? Why? Or why not? Stick around and I'll tell you why. Okay, yes you should. But stick around anyway and I'll show you many examples of canned fish. And give you some important things to know as you stock your prepper pantry. At the end of the video I'll show you my favorite and as you're watching the video tell us about your favorite type of canned fish and your favorite way of preparing it. Let's consider some reasons to include canned fish along with canned meat in your prepper pantry. First would be the protein content. Here's a can of sardines. One serving or the can has 20 grams protein. Now let's look at some salmon. It's more than one serving in this can, but per serving it has 17 grams protein. So how do those compare with chicken? Two servings in this can for a total of 22 grams for the can. Chicken Viennese sausage, 7 grams of protein per serving, two servings per can, so 14 grams of protein per can. And last but not least, roast beef. 20 grams of protein per serving, two servings per can. So fish, just as good a source of protein as the other canned meats. The second thing we're going to look at in regard to fish is the fat content. Sardines will come packed in water or they will come packed in some type of oil. Even when they're packed in water, as you can see from this nutrition label, there are 97 calories per serving and 5 grams of that is fat or 45 calories, so roughly half of the calories is from fat. The salmon, 110 calories per serving, 4 grams of fat. What about the canned meats? Don't they have fat in them also? They do. And here's the chicken. 60 calories per serving, 10 calories of fat. But it also says 2 grams of fat, which would be 18 calories. Nevertheless, it does have some fat in it. By any sausage, 120 calories per serving, 90 calories of that is fat. So it is a mixed meat, and it is mostly fat. The roast beef, 140 calories per serving, 30 of those calories are fat calories, or 3.5 grams of fat per serving. So the meats do have fat in them, but not all fats are created equal. So salmon is considered a fatty fish, and you see from the label here, 110 calories per serving, 4 grams of fat. Again, about a third of the calories is fat calories. So what's the difference between the fat in the fish and the fat in the canned meats? The biggest difference is in the ratio of the omega-3 fatty acids to the omega-6 fatty acids. The fish has a lot more omega-3 fatty acids, which are very important for your health. In this video, we're not going to get into all of the omega-3 versus omega-6, but you should do some research. And I do believe you will find the importance of the omega-3 fatty acids. All of that is not to say that you should eat canned fish instead of canned meat. It's just a comparison of the fats that each of them contain. And of course, some of the fats that are in the fish, like you see in this picture, come from vegetable oils, which are not that great of a source of fats. And a couple or three more reasons to consider fish as part of your storage food in your prepper pantry. They're readily available. They're relatively inexpensive, at least as compared to other canned foods. They taste good, and they're better for your health. Most of them are ready to eat right out of the can. So why do I say that the canned fish generally are better for your health than the canned meats? Because most of the canned fish are wild caught. Whereas most of the canned meats are conventionally raised. There are some conventionally raised or farm raised fish as well, and I'll show you a couple of those as we go through the video. If you are already including some canned fish in your prepper pantry, or if I have convinced you to include some in your prepper pantry, let's look at some of the more popular options for canned fish. Hey, if you're getting useful information from this video and you like it, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. We have a lot of videos coming out that's going to have some really good information for you guys, so don't miss them. The first type of fish we're going to look at are the sardines. Sardines will come skinless and boneless, which means, of course, no skin, no bones. Otherwise, they have the skin and the bones. Skin and bones are edible, and they also will give you a little bit more nutrition. But some people don't like the thought of having the skin and bones, so they are available skinless and boneless. 
Take your pick. You can also get them packed in different ways or different flavorings, such as in water, in mustard sauce, in Louisiana hot sauce, in olive oil, in vegetable oil, in tomato sauce, in brine, and probably other ways as well. The second type, salmon. Salmon will come wild caught or farm raised. It's available as pink salmon and as red salmon. So what are the differences, you might ask? The red salmon is sockeye salmon. The pink salmon is several different other kinds. Still all salmon. The red salmon has about a third more omega-3 fatty acids, which is good stuff, and a higher content of some vitamins and nutrients. But the pink salmon is still very healthy for you. All salmon can be eaten straight out of the can, but this type is what you typically would make into salmon patties. This type is a filet and not intended to make salmon patties, but rather you would just eat it right out of the can. It is larger pieces. And this is chunk style. You would use it similar to the way you would use chunk style tuna. And like the sardines, it is available with skin and bones, and like this one, skinless and boneless. The next type we'll look at is tuna. The three main types of tuna, yellowfin, albacore, and chunk light. Chunk light is made from what's called skipjack tuna, which is a smaller tuna and has less mercury than the other types of tuna. You can get your tuna packed in water, in vegetable oil, which will be soybean or canola oil, as you see on this label, and you can also get it packed in olive oil, and you can get your olive oil or other oils flavored. The next two types will be kipper snacks and herring. As you can see, the kipper snacks are herring, which are also called kipper style snacks sometimes. I don't know why that is. If one of you guys could explain that better than I could, I would really like to hear from you about that. But herring fillets or kipper snacks, they're both very healthy and very tasty. The next category of fish will be the mackerel. And this is the one that I am the least familiar with and just now learning about it. It is similar to salmon and comes in a form that you can use like tuna or sardines. And it also comes in a form where you have to prepare it and make patties out of it. So it's very versatile. Packed different ways, such as this one in olive oil, in brine, and in tomato sauce. It does come skinless and boneless. But in the can, you may have to take some of the bigger bones and some of the fins off of it before you eat it. Freshwater fish, trout. I do not know if this one is farm raised or wild caught. It doesn't say wild caught, but it is skinless and boneless. I do get these from time to time. I like them very much, but they are packed in canola oil. I'm sure there are probably other brands of trout out there, but I'm not familiar with them. If you guys have more information about the trout, such as farm raised or wild caught and other brands, I would appreciate hearing from you about that. The next to last category we'll look at are anchovies. The anchovies that I have are flat fillets, and I'll show you what they look like. Those little hair looking things are small bones, but you do eat them. They are really good, but they are pretty salty. Very salty. And if you're wondering, yes, I did eat the whole can. And the last category will be specialty or other. And that would be things that are fish related, so to speak. And this one in particular is cod liver. No, it's not cod liver oil, the stuff we all hate. It is cod liver. It is very healthy for you, very good texture. My wife and I both like it really well. If you haven't ever tried cod liver, I suggest you get one can, try it out, and see if you want to include it in your preps. There are several varieties of readily available canned fish options for you. So which one should you have or should you get? Any of them and all of them are good to have for a true survival situation. If protein is your primary goal with your canned fish, then it's going to be some kind of the tuna. If calories and or health are your main concern with your canned fish, then any of them that are wild caught are going to be 
your choice. And those that are packed in oil are going to have more calories than those that are packed in water. So the best one would be the one that you and or your family and or your group like the best and will eat. I really can't say that one is better than the other when it comes to the canned fish. Just the one that you like the best. My favorite, if I want it to eat just out of the can, it's the smoked kipper snacks. And if it's something that I'm going to prepare because I'm making other things in a meal, then it's going to be the salmon. The one I prefer of the two to have for survival food is the kipper snack. Those are ready to eat right out of the can. No cooking, no heating. Just open the can and eat it. So what is your favorite canned fish? For those of you that are interested in foods that you can eat right out of the can, out of the bag, out of the box, what I would call no-cook foods, check this video out.